Fighters loyal to Libya's UN-backed unity government in Tripoli celebrate as it claims the capital is entirely under its control. A day after it ejected rival troops of Khalifa Haftar's Libyan Arab armed forces from the nearby airport, the newly emboldened government of national accord insisted it would retake the entire country. <laughs> Since 2015, Libya has been divided between two governments, one in the east and one in the west. The eastern-based forces launched an offensive in April last year to capture Tripoli from the western-based GNA. The offensive had the backing of Russia, France, Egypt and the United Arab Emirates, but Haftar's forces began losing gains they'd made in recent months after Turkey supported the unity government with drones and air defence. It's left a question mark over future developments as the United Nations and foreign powers involved called for a ceasefire. There seems to be an effort, an attempt by these two countries, by Turkey and Russia in particular, to push for some sort of deal of understanding. But there are many factors involved. There are as I said, the UAE and Egypt that are also part of this picture. And then there are the Libyan actors, the Libyan parties themselves, which are not the easiest proxies when it comes to external backers trying to control them. As Haftar's forces withdraw towards their northwestern stronghold of Tahuna, the lines may be being drawn for battles to come, with most analysts believing that they're still far from total defeat. Well, for more on the situation in Libya 